All right, wait, before you skip ahead, um, I'm gonna tell you everything you wanna know right now. Um, first of all, this is a long video. There's lots of parts that not everyone wants to see. So here is all of the timestamps for uh, each of the different sections. So in just a second, you can skip to wherever you wanna see or to whatever part of the video you wanna see. Um, second of all, you're probably watching this video because you wanna get rid of drone and you wanna know if this worked. So I'll go ahead and explain now before you click off the video. I was able to eliminate um, a lot of drone and trust me, it made a world of a difference. It's so worth it. I'm gonna show the comparison of the sound graphs right now um, on the screen. Uh, so you'll be able to see those. And then in just a second, I'm gonna play a short clip of before and after of the audio, um, which is obviously kind of hard to tell because it's through a phone. Um, so you can't really tell like what kind of drone it's getting rid of, uh, but you will, you will see that it's quieter. <laughs> that uh, should pretty much cover it. I'm super active with answering questions. So if you have them, um, comment them below. I'll be more than happy to answer anything you have. Um, I know that there's probably lots of the video, lots of things that my explanation probably, probably won't be enough for everybody. So um, I can answer any questions you guys have in the comments. Um, and then if you want these for your car um, and you don't, you don't have the stuff to make them or you don't want to go through all that um, and you just want to buy them, let me know. If I, if I have demand for them, I will definitely um, make some to sell. I make parts um, for these cars. So if that's something you guys want like to be available to buy, um, definitely let me know, I can make that happen. Um, it'd be cheap too, I'm not gonna charge um, a lot of money. I'd probably be looking at like $400 for an axle back, which isn't the cheapest, but obviously there's a bit of work that goes into it. So that's probably what I'm looking at, that price range-ish shift. Subscribe and like, the support is greatly appreciated. And I think that's all I've got. So uh, enjoy the rest of the video. All right, boys, we are back with another video. If you have a 370, 350, G, whatever, any VQ, you'll know the struggle with exhaust drone. Um, these motors especially are notorious for having unbearable exhaust drone. So uh, we're gonna use some science and math to work on fixing that. So I just got that recording here, um, and then, oh, look at that, we got a new sub, yes sir. Anyways, so we got that recording, oh, I unpaused it, no, um, it's still got it saved up here, so it looks like we were at about 157 hertz was where we, where it was resonating the most for drone, um, so we're gonna, whenever we build this resonator, we're gonna try and target uh, about 150 to 160 hertz, that's gonna be the uh, frequency we, we are gonna go ahead and delete. All right, Dr. Mason is gonna teach us some things. It's gonna be brief because I know your attention span is about that of a goldfish. So I've got my official whiteboard here. I'm gonna slap this up here. All right. Voila. So, the reason that frequency was so important, I'll show you. So we've got Sound equals frequency. F is frequency. Now we've got a sound we don't like. We need to get rid of it. Sound waves. This frequency that we don't like has a certain sound wave. We just found that frequency that we don't want, which was about 157 hertz. In order to delete this frequency, we need to find its wavelength. Wavelength, I think that's it, is equal to velocity over frequency. So to find this, we need these two variables. We've got the frequency, that's 157 hertz. Velocity is going to be the sound of speed, that's a known variable. So with those two variables, we're able to calculate wavelength. Speed of sound changes with temperature. My operating temperature for my exhaust is about 350 degrees. So at 350 degrees, 
The speed of sound is 437 meters per second. So now we've got 437 over 157 hertz equals, one second, I need my calculator for this one, boys, 2.78 meters is our wavelength of the frequency we don't want. And I just used my calculator again, that's going to be about 109 inches is that wavelength. Now, the way we're going to be able to delete this for can you even see this? Oh, you can. All right, we're good. The way we are able to delete this frequency is with a Helmholtz resonator. What that is, is we take the wavelength, we divide that by 4. I'll show you why in just a second. 109 divided by 4, quick maths, inches, which will need to be the length of our resonator. So, I'll show you how the resonator works. Let's pretend this is our exhaust. This is our wavelength we don't like, that we need to delete. So basically, we're going to make a little extension off of our exhaust that is equal to a quarter of our wavelength, which is 27 inches. Now the uh, the sound, the frequencies, the wavelength of our exhaust is going to travel in here, bounce back out, and come out of here. The reason that's important is because, let's say this is our wavelength, or this is our frequency of the wavelength we want to delete. Now let's say we put that on a graph here, where it peaks at 1 at the top, and negative 1 at the bottom. What we're going to do here by making this a quarter length of that is the wavelength that comes back out of it and continues in the exhaust has traveled a quarter of its wavelength this way and a quarter of the wavelength back this way which is half of its wavelength. So we will have this wavelength of the sound we don't like going through our exhaust and our new frequency coming out of there is going to be the same wavelength, but it's going to be shifted. It's called a phase shift. Exactly 180 degrees from our old one. Now the importance of this is where these both peak, here, 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 like that. The original wavelength and our new one from our resonator is at negative 1 while our old one was at 1. You calculate that out, that's 0, effectively reducing our amplitude of our old wavelength from 1 down to 0, which will effectively cancel that out, which is the goal of the Helmholtz resonator. Now, if that was too much for you to follow, no worries. There's a special tool on the internet already for you for this. Uh, I'll put it in the description below, right underneath my Talon Performance oil coolers. Get them while they're hot. Um, it'll do all that math for you. It'll tell you the exact length of the J-pipe you need. Unless you just want to buy mine. I mean, shh. Anyways. Now with that out of the way, it's time to um, start building a resonator. Probably not going to get to it today, so this video is going to get picked up at a uh, later date. But, yeah, there's your science lesson. All right, so I got ahead of myself and forgot to film part of this, but I decided I'm going to put the resonators on the Y pipe. Um, if I end up selling one of these, I am still considering if I'm going to do a Y pipe or an axle back. But for now, I'm just going to test it out on my Y pipe to see if it works all right. Um, I did actually have to redo some of the math. I changed my operating temperature, so the resonator size changed a little bit. So we're going down to 25 inch resonators. Um, and my plan right now is they'll pretty much perfectly fit coming down um, and then meeting right here. Um, though they will be blocked off so they'll be individual for each pipe. So I cut out um, a, a U pipe, 180 degree bend in half. Um, and I've got part there, part there. And then I'm just kind of mocking up these uh, 45 degree bends. I think they're going to work out pretty well. Um, so I'm probably going to attack this stuff together. Um, and then I'll have to make p end pieces here. 
um, that'll fit nicely and bring me out to 25 inches. And then we will have to grind out those so that they fit flush against the pipe and then cut a hole for those and we'll just weld them in. So this is actually gonna work out pretty good, I think. I won't have to do too many cuts and do anything too intricate um, just with the pipe I have, so. All right, so I was trying to figure out a way to cap these off with the material I have here. Um, I've got some little rectangles of stainless that I'm gonna try and use, um, but they're not quite, their width isn't quite the, the diameter of this pipe. So I'm gonna um, flatten out the ends here a little bit um, so that the uh, little cards that I have will uh, fit in there. Again, this is just like, uh, kind of to test if these mufflers even work. So like, I'm not really concerned about it um, being super nice. Um, obviously, if it does work and I'm selling some, I'll be <laughs> putting a little bit more effort into making them uh, than this, so. All right, so this is what I was talking about. I've got these little scrap pieces of uh, stainless. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to gr or flatten that down just a little bit more before I'll be able to weld it, and then I can just cut out um, the outside pieces, so. All right, so I finished welding that out and I grinded it down a little bit. Um, I'm not too upset with how it came out. Um, again, I don't really care very much just because this is like just a test to see how well it works. But um, now that I got that one done, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the other one. Uh, we'll have to weld these out where they're just tacked um, and then we can start getting them fitted to the wipe out. All right, I've got both pieces capped off on the ends um, and I finished out the welds. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and groove these so that they fit over the pipes. Um, and then once they're fitted up and we see where we need to cut out, we're gonna try cutting these out. So I'm gonna go ahead and sketch out what needs to be grinded off of these, uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I just got my uh, grooves sketched out. I'm gonna grind them out with the um, angle grinder to get them to fit around that pipe. All right, so I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get it. Um, I'm doing it by hand, um, and I'm happy with that. The fit up isn't perfect. Um, but again, I'm doing it by hand. It doesn't need to be exact. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll with that, um, get the other one done, and then we will mark our holes to cut out. I was in a rush and had to throw this stuff together and stop where I was at. Um, and I'm coming back to this project quite a bit later, actually. I ran just with one for a while. Um, so I'm gonna finish getting this one done and then we'll go get official results of how well this actually ended up working out. Um, and I did end up uh, cutting off the old weld and putting a new one on because um, I didn't like where the other one sat. So I'm gonna need to cut off this 90 here um, and then we'll groove it out the same way we did on the other one. All right, we got a nice cut on that. Um, we're gonna start the slow process of grinding that out to fit around the pipe. Uh, I gotta do it all by hand, so it takes a little bit to get it perfect. All right, I've got that all ground down where I like it. Um, it's fitting pretty tight, but I think we'll be able to uh, make it work. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this stuff up and get this welded on. I forgot I also got to cut a hole in this, obviously. Um, last time I used my TIG welder as a plasma cutter, basically, um, and it worked, but I wasn't super happy with it. Uh, so I think I'm gonna just try and grind it out. It'll take a little bit longer, but um, I think I'll get a better result by doing that. So we're gonna try that on this side. All right, since this piece is like kind of crappy um, and I had to like rush it and not take my time on it, and it's just like a test piece to see if this theory even works. Um, I just blasted this stuff together with uh, a little flux core welder. Um, I'm not like spending much time on it trying to make it nice like you know other exhausts um, that we do because again this is probably just gonna be like a temporary thing um, until I build some real ones. So 
Um, yep, we got that all welded up. Um, time to clean it up. We'll go bolt it onto the car and we'll get to test it out. All right, she's fully installed. Um, I'm gonna let that uh, gasket maker I had to use um, give some give it some time just to set, um, and then we'll go and uh, test this out. All right, I came out to the same road. Uh, we're gonna do the same test, same speed. Um, I didn't want to do like a different road to make the road noise any different. I wanted to make it as accurate of a uh, comparison as possible. So we're gonna get up to speed here. I've got my app again, and I can already tell it's a huge difference. So I'm expecting to see a lot of result here. All right. There's where we see the drone. And you can, like, it is so much quieter in here now. Go ahead and pause this. I'll put it up on the screen. Um, the comparison of the before and after, but like even like it is, it is so noticeable. I haven't been able to look at the graphs yet, obviously. But like I'm telling you, it is night and day difference. I hated driving this car at highway speeds, and this is like better than most of the cars I've had actually. Like this is super quiet. Like I'm just like I'd be able to talk to somebody at a normal. back to Corvette stuff so if you want to see that um, I appreciate all the support so if you subscribe like the videos um, that's really appreciated and and as always I'm answering all the questions in the comments um, so if you do have any questions let me know um, and if you want a set of these made for your car let me know if I have the demand for it. If people want these, I will definitely make them. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to or not yet. Um, but if I see demand for them, I definitely will. Um, I'd probably be looking at just for like a reference, just for like a not a full exhaust. It'd be like an axle back or a wide pipe, like, like I talked about. We'd probably be looking at like the like $400 range, 450 maybe. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, definitely.